we're going to be talking about the 10 top tips to make your hair healthier, stronger, thicker, and more lush. I'll be sharing best kept secret for the best hair. Healthy hair. That's all that we want in life. If you don't know who I am, my name is Iman. Hello. I suffer from hair loss and on this channel we talk about natural, effective, scientifically backed methods to regrow my hair, your hair, everyone's hair. But if you are interested in my journey, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So, top tip number one is silk. Silk is the best kept secret. I am obsessed with silk. Silk bonnets, silk pillowcases, silk pajamas, everything. Silk is so good for your hair and it really does help to prevent breakage, frizz, dryness, all while you sleep. So when Lily Silk reached out to me to try out their products, I was like, I am definitely, definitely in. Lily Silk are kindly sponsoring this video. They have sent me a silk pillowcase and as well as a silk bonnet. Their products are super luxurious, really high quality, really affordable. What's great about silk is that when you sleep on silk, it really retains the moisture in your hair and skin as well. So cotton strips your hair of the oils, the natural moisture from your hair. So silk is going to make your hair healthier, shinier, more manageable. Gone are the days of bad hair days when you wake up sleeping on really rough cotton. It's actually revolutionary. I'm not joking. It actually just feels so nice. It's gonna help with reducing wrinkles and making folds in your skin because I like to sleep on my side. That's gonna catch up to me later on because it does make you older. Shout out to everyone who sleeps on their backs. Props to you. If you don't want to get the pillowcase, I would definitely recommend the pillowcase, but you can get a hair bonnet. <laughs> This is a great protective style, so you can literally put your hair in this bonnet and it's gonna be protected from you moving around, you doing getting down and dirty in the sheets. I don't know what you're doing. Especially now, it's so hot. The silk just helps me to keep cool and just makes me feel really soft and luxurious. Oh, absolutely glorious. This honestly feels like heaven. It's like a cloud. And what's great about Lily Silk, it comes in all different colors. I got the queen size, because I've got a queen bed, and I think my pillowcases, I had a look at what dimension they were, and that's how I picked the size. But I think they're perfect. Like, the size of it is kind of perfect. But if you see, the hair just literally just slides across the silk, preventing breakage, frizz. The bonnet also is good, and this also comes in many different colors. <gasps> Oh, I'm also a sous chef. Uh, bonjour. You, would you like uh, some uh, escargot with your chips? You know it's silk when you put it in your hand and it crunches like that and you can hear it. That's when you know it's really good quality silk. I have a discount code for you guys, so check it out. 15% off. It is in the description. Woo! Okay, top tip number two, best secret is scalp massages. Scalp massages are super, super important if you want to get thicker, healthier, more stronger, shinier hair. So scalp massages are really instrumental in increasing blood flow, stimulating hair growth, providing your hair follicles with the nutrients it needs to grow. So your hair is actually dead and it receives nutrients from the hair bulb through the bloodstream. So anything that you can do to help stimulate blood flow, to basically wake up the hair follicles, that's really gonna help shake up your hair. I've got a dedicated massage video on my channel. Make sure to check it out if you wanna know the exact techniques used in a scientific study that proved scalp massages stimulated hair growth. Top tip number three is a scalp scrub. This is so important. Your scalp is an extension of your skin, so you need to really care for your scalp. And one way to do that is to exfoliate your scalp. You wanna pave the way for the hair to grow, so if there's any debris, dandruff, product buildup, that's gonna stop your hair from growing. So if you think about all of the buildup, the dandruff, all of the gunk on your scalp, if you just let it build and build and build, your hair is not. <laughs> It's not gonna come out. So a really great DIY scalp scrub is coffee granules. Coffee granules help to stimulate hair growth. Put a bit of peppermint and rosemary essential oil. Again, those are gonna really help to stimulate hair growth. Blood flow, as I mentioned, blood flow is key to the health of your hair. I cannot say it again. Blood flow is the key to the health of your hair. Blood flow is the key to the health of your hair. 
blood flow is the key to the health of your hair. Blood, blood, blood flow. Anyways, moving on to tip number four, cuatro. You guessed it, scalp oil. Exfoliating the scalp, nourishing the scalp. Exfoliate plus nourish equals healthy scalp equals healthy hair. If you wanna get your hands on my scalp elixir that has been instrumental in helping me combat hair loss and also give me much better quality hair because I have come a long, long way from where I was. This is me and this is me today. Click in the link description and sign up. I am going to be launching soon. Essential oils and carrier oils like argan, like jojoba, like pumpkin seed oil. This is really nourishing for the hair shop and the hair bulb. And you wanna be replenishing any oils that you lose through shampooing. So this is very instrumental as a pre-shampoo treatment. If you wanna learn more about hair oils, check out my oils for hair growth video. Top tip number cinco. It is use a sulfate free shampoo. Sulfate has historically been used in a lot of shampoo because it's cheap, easy to manufacture, but actually, if you haven't heard that sulfate is bad for your hair, I don't know where you've been. You must have been living under a rock. But try and, as much as possible, use a sulfate free shampoo. Sulfate free shampoos are less stripping, are less irritating to your skin, to your eyes, to your hair. It's a lot better for your hair. You don't want to completely take all of the natural oils from your hair because this is what's gonna cause the vicious cycle of greasy hair. Too much stripping of your hair is gonna cause more greasy hair, which is gonna make you wanna wash your hair more. Cycle continues, vicious cycle, and that's how they get your money. A good shampoo that I use is Waterman's. Check out my best shampoo for hair loss if you are interested more about understanding the inner intricacies of shampoo and what's in the ingredient because the NCD Decoder.com is gonna help you decode the shampoo, the ingredients, not just in your shampoo, but in all your beauty products. And that is something that I encourage everyone to. That leads me nicely to top tip number six for healthier hair, and that is cold showers. Cold showers are so good at sealing your hair cuticle, also stimulating blood flow because the cold showers is a shock to your body. This in turn is going to help regulate the blood circulation in your body and then in turn your hair. Cold showers at the end of your shower helps to seal in the moisture, helps to give you that shinier glow and I'm telling you when I use cold showers on my hair it makes such a massive difference. Seal up those pores, seal up those cuticles and you got yourself a very very good top tip. Can you guess what my top tip number seven is? It is hydration! a day is really gonna help your hair. You want your hair to be hydrated. Water is so important. We are made up of 70% water, I think. <sighs> Top tip number eight, I'm sure you know this already, but is to cut your ends regularly. Cutting off split ends helps to stop split ends from traveling up your hair shaft. That sounds a bit strange. Cutting your ends is really important, healthier hair. So make sure that you're cutting every six weeks. This is gonna help to maintain the length, maintain the health of your hair. I know sometimes we feel like getting more length is actually, you know, what we want. We want longer hair. But if that hair in on the ends isn't healthy and it's sparse, it's frizzy, it's split ends, it's dry, make sure to cut it off because it's gonna stop your hair from growing thicker, nicer, and in the long run, it's just bad for your hair. Top tip number nine. This one isn't known very well, but you need to eat a lot of protein. That is chicken, fish, nuts, legumes, seeds. This is so important for hair health. They did a study and it said that people that didn't eat enough protein suffered a lot with their hair health and with hair loss. We need to be eating at least, at least one, one gram of protein for every kilogram of weight. So I weigh 65 kilograms, so 
I need to eat 65 grams worth of protein. The more the protein that you eat, the better. Hair is made out of keratin, protein and amino acids are the building blocks of hair and is literally what our bodies, our cells use to build hair. So make sure to eat your chicken. Last but not least is a secret that not many people know about and I am sharing the tea with you guys. It is bamboo and beef liver supplements. All right, hear me out. Bamboo has got a lot of silica in it. When I was eating bamboo supplements, I found my nails were really strong. They didn't break at all. They were literally like rock solid. That is a good indication when your nails are healthy, it means your hair is also healthy. Silica is so important to getting stronger, thicker, healthier hair. So definitely incorporate bamboo supplements in your diet. Second is the beef liver. Beef liver has the whole B complex. It is also rich in heme iron, which is easily absorbed versus non-heme iron from plants. Iron is so important because if we have, if our ferritin stores are below 70, our bodies start to take iron from our hair follicles because it's not a vital organ. We can live without our hair. Our organs need iron, so our body's gonna take from it. So when that happens, you're gonna get hair loss, you're gonna get worse hair growth, you're gonna get unhealthy hair. So beef liver, I use ancestral supplements, and this is great because they're such an amazing brand. All of their beef are organic and from New Zealand. What's interesting is that our ancestors used to eat from nose to tail an animal. So I personally would never eat beef liver if you gave me a million pounds, but it's literally, you can just pop it in your mouth and it's fine. But beef liver is so rich in so many nutrients that we are lacking, including B12, that it is a very, very good supplement to start doing. And I have noticed when taking these supplements, I have been getting a lot more baby hairs. Definitely a lot more baby hairs than normal. Everything I've talked about will be linked in the description. I hope you have enjoyed my top 10 tips for healthier, shinier, more lush hair. If you want to learn more about hair loss and my hair loss journey, make sure to watch my How To Beat Hair Loss playlist. So I shall see you in the next video. Peace.